Hi, Taurus. Okay, so we have the Magician, Major Arcana. We have the Devil, Major Arcana. And we have the Chariot, Major Arcana. So in looking at the Magician, you know, the Magician is standing here in his red robe, pointing his wand to the sky as if he is the, uh, the conduit between inspiration from the divine source to him and looking for that um, attraction for the, the lightning bolt, the spark, because the magician is about uh, being the, uh, the magical creator of your life, of manifesting, building, visualizing, and, and making things go the way that you hope that they will go. Because the universe has provided you with all the resources that you need, everything that you need. It's a matter of how you use them and how you understand how to use them in order to acquire or obtain or to move forward on the path that you choose. And so with the magician, you see the table has the swords, cups, pentacles, has everything that we need. And it's a matter of appreciating and understanding our talents, our skills that we've acquired, the wisdom that we've also gained through uh, experience and then blending it with our passion. So the mag magician promises us of creation and the opportunity to manifest and to build a life that's going to serve your highest purpose, that's going to make you feel fulfilled and make you feel happy. And so, uh, you know, it's really, it's a matter of not only visualizing it, but really thinking about how you are pragmatically going to make it happen. Because we could sit and daydream all day long, but it's the movement and the movement by your own hand to bring it to fruition, to bring it into play. So it's a very powerful card to have the magician, which is telling you that you can create and manifest the life that you want, you know, pretty much in line with the, all the wonderful abilities and skills that you already have. So then with all of this potential here that we have with the magician, we have the devil. The devil looks ominous and he has the two chained lovers beneath him as if he's mocking them. And so, you know, the devil... The devil is here to strip away our hope and to mess with us and messing with us by tempting us into doing things that take us off the path or the goal or the hope or the dream. And it's through our own behaviors, perhaps of being uh, too materialistic, impulsive, um, uh, indulgent behaviors that are in excess and that stifle our growth as people and certainly block our, our way of moving forward. And so the devil is, uh, you know, he's always there saying, do this instead. I don't know. Stop, stop studying your new skill here. Go, go have a drink with your friends. And you know, a little bit of that is fine. But it is the excessive nature, it's the obsessive nature that we get caught up with the devil. And the devil there interferes with us, with your ability to be your best surf, self. So uh, what do we think about the devil? Listen, everybody has to deal with their devil, the devil, and, they, and you know what it is probably. And maybe some people are in denial, but... For the most part, I think we know where we have our missteps. And it's a matter of taking action and taking that first step. If you see the, the lovers here, these chains are loosely bound. If they stepped out or if they made the effort when they're ready to, they could get out of them. So it's a matter of awareness and recognizing that the behaviors that I'm showing are limiting me. What can I do to address that? What small step can I take to help loosen these, uh, the things that I do that get in my own way? And so the good news is on the other side of the devil is the chariot. 
And the chariot is really about confidence and it's about movement and it's your movement. You're driving the chariot. You're able to deal with adversity, to deal with obstacles. And where you may get off the nice paved path and where you're on the bumpy road, you find a way to get back on. Here's the, the two sphinxes, the black and white, representing the things that pull us in opposite directions. You have to have skill and ability to be able to negotiate and to, and to find the middle ground so that you can continue to move forward. But with the chariot, there's a sense here that you will be successful. And so perhaps when we are cognizant of what the devil creates in our life and we, we find ways to approach it or deal with it, then that's going to pave the way for us to be successful with the chariot. The chariot is about reaching your goals, being recognized for what you've done, feeling like you have victory. And that when you feel like you're victorious, that raises your confidence. You know, he holds the reins. So he is in control. This is a card about control. So where often the devil, maybe we feel the lack of control. Here's the chariot coming back saying, grab those reins. Don't lose sight of that. Keep your hands on the reins. Otherwise you're going to lose control. So first of all, three major arcana cards for the first day of August and big ones. I think really big ideas, things to think about, which is your vision. What do you want to create? What are you doing to do that? How are you going to get ahead of, or to get in control of behaviors that the devil would um, uh, be, be there for or be influencing you. And then ultimately of using your confidence and your mastery and the ability to show discipline and self-control to keep the momentum going in your pursuit of the life or the ho the hobbies, the relationships, whatever it may be to keep it going. So very interesting. So let's take a look at what the numbers are. We have, let's see, one and uh that looks like that's 15 so that's 16 and 16 and 7 is uh, 23 and so that reduces to 5 5 is about adjustment flexibility perhaps uh, challenges and new cycles let's just take a look here 16 yep and then finally i'm going to choose an oracle card and we'll get a little more information complacency and this is a compelling illustration because it shows that mm, is it lifelessness that when we feel complacent when we feel that we're not having momentum forward it affects us you know on a whole on a whole level so how do we deal with complacency we have to first think about what's dragging in our life and what isn't uh, making us excited? Where are we missing out on the passion? Is it in our relationships? Is it in my crummy job? Or is it in my, you know, I don't have the friends that I've hoped to build to be able to do fun things. So com to be complacent, you know, uh, we have to change our mindset and we have to find a way to problem solve out of that. Because it's one thing to acknowledge, yeah, I'm really stuck. I'm feeling miserable in my career. But you have to think about what are you going to do to either change that, you know, find something else that can take that wear and tear off. But it's such, there's such sadness in this illustration of complacency. And what we want in life is we want the excitement, the energy of the um, magician, the energy and the action of the chariot to move forward for the things that we really hope to accomplish and hope to do in our short, short time here on earth. 